And we're back, everyone, to my Let's Play video series of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Look around for stuff. Always, because, well, it's stuff. I must loot it. Eh, door's locked. We can lockpick it, I think. Of course we can. Elder Vitae. That's good stuff right there. Oh, I can't take that blood. I don't think my blood was that full. Inventory? Oh, I guess it is. Don't need to use it either. Oh, that's convenient. Well, that door's sealed, that door's sealed. Odd uh, equipment. Anyway, play. As I expand my dealings with the vampire government, I have encountered a disturbing new symptom of this affliction. Frequently, in conversation, I will hear voices emanating from other vampires. Voices that are not their own, but which seem to have insight into their lives beyond what I could gather from simple conversation. These voices seem to echo from deep within my fellow vampires, and I cannot be certain if this symptom belongs to my strain of illness or theirs. For the voices are various and inconsistent. I dare not mention this symptom to my vampiric peers, for they have proven themselves true predators to whom I could be loath to reveal any sign of weakness. Indeed, these voices have counseled me against confessing their presence, and until I can confirm their source, I will listen. The information the voices have given me ranges from curious to frightening. The latter case is especially true of one powerful vampire whose name I shall not commit to recording in the interests of self-preservation. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Snap goes the neck. <laughs> Impaled goes the body. <laughs> Impaled goes the body. And bounces for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I like doing that. Just so much fun. I mean, they don't even notice when I walk right up next to them, which is odd. Laboratory for Drake, even though I just already unlocked that. Oh well, whatever. The ground, nothing in here. So I might as well continue down. Oh, hopping. Hopping, hopping, hopping. Oh my god. Now that there was fun right there. Uh, oh crap, the body faded. I should have took a speed shot of that one. That's fire. That would have been fun. Oh, what to do? Yeah, those weak weapons I don't care about. Um. What the fuck does this do? Okay, I'm confused as to what that does. Ooh, secret passage. Uh, where does it lead? Upstairs. Good 
that with that one over there, but I'm gonna just go this way. Ow. Now he's dead. The voices have increased in frequency and direction of late. They have begun to stay with me long after conversation has ceased and are serving as quite a distraction. I fear others are beginning to notice my preoccupation at the vampire gatherings. I am thinking again of the particular vampire of whom I spoke previously, who I dare not name for my growing fear. If the voices are to be believed, then my caution is warranted, for they speak of his blackest crimes, both past and future. More than once, I have seen the suspicion in his eyes and heard the distrust in his voice when speaking with me. The fear must register on my face, as it is all I can do in these moments to keep from crying out in chorus with the voices. Hmm. Well, interesting. So let's continue then. I am no longer safe. I know it. The voices have proven themselves authentic and I have withdrawn from the vampire society entirely. My absence will no doubt draw attention, but I could no longer hold my fragile composure around the ravenous eyes of my vampire peers. Especially not around him. The voices compelled me to make what I fear is a Faustian bargain, but I had to, for their demands are constant and merciless. I have secluded myself within the mansion. I know he will strike out at me. He will go to any length to achieve his ambitions, and he knows it, I know. I have taken precautions to protect my beloved wife. Her cure will have to wait until our immediate safety is guaranteed. The mansion was constructed with security in mind, but at that time I was not privy to the full range of vampire capabilities. The voices echo in the twisted corridors of my psyche, dark whisperings of a macabre and formless menace, the approach of which portends an end, an end to all of this. Okay. Odd. Ah, uh, well, continuing. Hmm. This must be his wife. A uh, brain? A uh, teddy bear like thing? Can't see it exactly. I think it might be a heart or something. A rose? Picture? A uh, watch thing. And it rotates around. Which somehow unlocks this door. Odd. But oh well. Let's continue. Someone got staked and then killed. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I guess that's how it should grab. That sucks. What the fuck is going on now? It's a book here. Or something with this. Bang, apparently. I'll take it. Ground dead. Okay, then. 
leave off here for now. Hope you are enjoying this. Thank you all and have a nice day.